Hello and welcome to another very quick Plan Mecca Tech Tips. I am Cody Ray and today we're going to talk about how to install a Romexis license. But first, why do we need a Romexis license? Well, if you're familiar with the software, you know that in every situation where we install Romexis, there has to be a server and then there can be clients. Okay, The server is going to handle storing images, etc. And the clients are going to connect to that server and they're going to be able to open those images. So the way Romexis works is we have what is called a simultaneous user license. That means that multiple clients can be open but only so many at a time. So we could technically install Romexis client on as many computers as we want, but only X amount of computers can be open at once. So what dictates that is the license. And I'm gonna show you how we install that license on the server, and the server is going to then dish it out to our clients respectively. All right, let's get started. Okay, every Romexis disk set is going to be shipped with a license disk. Now I've already copied the license file to my thumb drive and here it is. It's a very small file. So all you're going to do to install that is copy it and then go to your applications folder and paste it under the plan mecha folder. We're going to open that and then go to Romexis and then there's a folder called S config. We're going to simply paste the license there. Now I already had one there. I'm just going to paste right over it and say replace. All right, and the license is installed. It's really that easy. And finally, to wrap up the installation, we're just going to navigate to the applications folder. We're gonna find the plan mech folder. And essentially what we're going to do is stop and then restart the Romexis service, which is then going to kind of create a hiccup that will cause the computer to look for that license again. So here's the start Romexis service icon uh, and then the stop Romexis service icon. So what you're going to do is just simply double click the stop Romexis service icon to stop it. Type in the password, hit OK. It stopped. There's really no other visual than that. You just kind of have to know that it stopped. Then we're going to restart it back up. Type in the password, OK. And there we go. The Romexis service has started. The license is installed. 